Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront updates and a bit of a quick late night update. Earlier today and yesterday we got a few more updates from the developers of Star Wars Battlefront. Starting off we have Daniel, one of the level artists working on Battlefront who always likes to give us nice updates close to the release of the DLCs. He tweeted out earlier today that he was officially done with the Rogue One DLC, that the reveal is coming soon and also that he is now moving on to another project. It's quite common for the level artist to be done this early on and he actually tweeted out the same thing about the Death Star DLC about 3 weeks before the release. So in that case this DLC should be released early December, which was what most people already thought. The reveal coming soon statement doesn't really mean much as soon is something that DICE is known for using as a quite wide term. Lastly he said that he's moving on to a new project and my personal guess would be for the next Battlefront game but it could also be Battlefield 1 or possibly some content we don't know about for this game. Some people speculated most icily on reddit but I don't have my hopes too high for any more maps to this game if I'm gonna be completely honest and I think he's probably moved over to the next game. Moving on we have a few more quick updates from hero designer Guillaume since he's been tweeting a bit more since my last news update. The first thing he says is that the multiple hero glitch in Walker Assault has been fixed on their end and will be applied in the next patch. I think this might already have been confirmed but it's always good to hear nevertheless. Guillaume responded to someone talking about Chewbacca saying yes he will be prettier. It's a bit of a vague statement considering the whole conversation is a little bit blurry but I'm guessing he just means that his model will get some slight polishing. Lastly we finally get some word on the speeder bike team kill issue, he said that they are looking at this issue and that they should have a fix for the next patch. They have said that before though so I hope that they've really come up with a solution this time and that we will finally get rid of this issue. But that is all for this update, make sure to check out the videos on the screen if you haven't already. Have a great weekend guys and as always may the force be with you.